In honor of Black History Month, I've decided to do this tribute video to Viola Davis Desmond. She was born Viola Davis back in 1914 in Halifax. Her father was a barber and her mother was a homemaker. She came from a large family of nine children and she aspired to be a hairdresser. There were no hairdressing schools locally for black students, so she traveled to Montreal and did some training there and also to New York City uh, and did training with Madame C.J. Walker's uh, Academy. She came back to Nova Scotia and established her own beauty school as well as line of beauty products, which was quite unusual for a woman in those days, never mind a black woman. But what makes her notable, even more notable I should say, as a great black Canadian is that in 1946, while traveling through Nova Scotia, she had car trouble and was stuck in New Glasgow for the night and decided to take in a movie. Pretty innocuous thing to do, one would think. She went, purchased her ticket, and sat down on the main floor of the movie theater. She was quickly told by an usher that she was not allowed to sit there, that non-white patrons had to sit in the balcony. She refused to move. Police were called and she was physically dragged out of the theater and thrown in jail overnight. She was charged with tax evasion for failing to pay the three cents tax on a main level seat as opposed to the two cent tax on a balcony seat. Her fine was $20. This is in 1946, so imagine what kind of fortune that was. However, she paid it and went about her business. Uh, although that conviction remained on her record, um, it was upheld even throughout uh, an appeal process. Uh, until 2010, when a posthumous pardon was granted um, in recognition of the fact that Viola Davis Desmond had not done anything wrong on that evening. She died at the age of 50 in New York City. How did I achieve this look? I took finger coils, which is the style that I'm wearing this week, and I pinned back the sides, left a piece out in the front, added this um, crocheted uh, cap to create the effect of hair hanging down in the back, plus it's a very 1940s style, and the coils in the front I kind of pin curled down in uh, four groups to create the um, bang-like um, hairstyle that she's wearing in the photo. For my makeup, I have um, black eyeliner, um, mascara, a uh, little bit of bronze uh, eyeshadow, uh, red lips and um, nude face and I put on this scarf and pearls and pearl earrings because that would have been the style of a lady uh, especially an independent businesswoman in those days. <laughs> 